Hi everyone, Stuart here from Northern Bolt again. And today you join me with two drill attachments from the Torcraft brand. Over here we've got the universal drill stand and over here we've got a multi-angle drill guide. Both of these pieces of equipment are extremely useful and especially in situations where you maybe don't want to go ahead and buy an entire drill press, you could get away with an attachment like this or something like this if there's angles that you would like to drill, all of that sort of stuff. Both of these are super versatile, they're universal so they work on almost any drill and I say almost, I'll tell you a little bit later in the video what would make a drill not compatible to be used with either of these. But with that said guys, we're going to start off by looking at the universal drill stand, all the features, what it looks like when it's complete, how to use it, all of that sort of stuff. And uh, just show you guys a little bit more about both of these pieces of equipment. How's it guys? So I'm here with the, the universal drill press. As you can see, I've got two drills here and not all drills are compatible with this type of machine. The quick and easy way to determine if a drill is going to be suitable is to look at the collar of the drill. So on this cordless drill, you've got this collar over here for screw driving where you can adjust the, the amount of torque going through the drill. There are other videos where we've discussed this, but what this means is, is that where this, with, where this attachment grips the, the drill, it's going to be gripping on this ring and it's not really designed for that. So if, you, if you're gonna go ahead and purchase one of these, just bear in mind that you need to have a drill with something, a collar like this, where this unit can grip on it nicely. So with that said, it slots in like this. Like that. You get an Allen key with this kit. So that's, that's always quite nice. This machine uses cap screws everywhere and they're all the same size. So the Allen key that gets provided with it is quite useful because it, it does work with all of the fasteners on you. So now that you've got your drill installed, you've got a, a stopper over here that you can move up and down depending on how high you want to set this piece up here. So I'm just going to leave this down here. It's not super, super necessary. You adjust the height up here with the cap screw at the top. So you can see it's all very customizable. You can adjust it up or down, wherever you may need it. And from there, you just fasten it in place like that. To set the depth gauge, you've got a depth gauge over here. You just simply pull down the drill to your desired measurement or how deep you want to go. You fasten this guy. Now once that's fastened, it will stop when you get to that point. And that's how the depth gauge works. And from there, it's pretty self-explanatory. We always recommend bolting this unit to your workbench before operating this machine, just for safety purposes. And from there, you can operate it like so, two hands, off you go, drill precise holes without having to invest in an entire drill press. With that said, guys, we're now gonna move on to the multi-angle drill guide and show you guys how that works. All right, guys. You've seen the drill stand. Now it's time for the multi-angle drill guide. So this is how the setup looks when you've got it set up. This one's a little bit more fiddly when installing the drill. There's two little cap screws over here that you need to fasten that fastens this drill in, with that collar. So same story with the drill press. You need to ensure that your drill has a collar, a proper collar for it to grip on. If you do need to get a look at additional drills, you can do, we've got plenty that are available that are suitable for this type of setup and we'll link a few options in the description below. So with that, there's a lot going on here. You've got some knobs that you can turn up here. You've got a depth gauge over here to set the depth. So you can see this is obviously ideally meant to be screwed down to a workbench. There's some um, places for you to bolt it down. and. You've got a handle here to, to hold on, to steady your machine, and you've got a spring that allows you to push your drill up and down like so. To set the angle, you loosen these knobs on the side here. You can then adjust to whatever angle you need, and you can set it. Now, once you have set it, you can also set the depth gauge, as I mentioned before. So now it's a little unstable, but we'll deal with that. 
So you can set that like so. And now essentially that will stop the, the rig from moving past that point. So you won't drill further than what you need to or you want to. Now, once it's set up like this, I'm just gonna move it like that. You see, you can just push it down and drill whatever you need drilling. We always recommend clamping things down and making sure that things are secure from a safety perspective. Hence why we aren't actually doing a live demonstration because we have not bolted these, these rigs down and it would be a little bit dangerous. But not the most technical or difficult to use item, but definitely one that is extremely useful. And for not a lot of money, you can get a lot more versatility out of your drilling machines and your power tools at home or in the workshop, wherever you need. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the, the brief demonstration. I hope you once again learned a little bit about the attachments and what's available out there. Both of these items are, are very valuable and very useful for, for any application where something like this would be needed. Uh, as, as usual, links to these tools in our online store is available in the description below. You can check out the specs, all of that sort of stuff, uh, as well as make a purchase should you wish to do so. Uh, the address for our physical store will also be down there should you want to come and visit. You can see from our Torcraft stand over here, we've got plenty of attachments and accessories, not only for drills, but pretty much every other tool that's currently available in the market. So thank you very much guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate the support and uh, if all the comments and that sort of stuff you guys have left for us. So yeah, thank you very much guys and really appreciate it. I will see you again next week with more exciting tools. Thank you.